Okay, so we'll start off the swing as you were making with basically what we call the Y to Y. Core will take up obviously your arms and the club, make it like the Y, and we're just swinging that back and forth and get some reasonably good shots. Okay, mm -hmm. get the ball 30, 40 yards, but that'll be your limit of how far that shot can go with that length of swing. To get the ball to go further, which obviously you want to try and do that in that case, yeah. we've got to start hinging the wrist. Now the wrist has to hinge in the back swing to create power. However, the left hand needs to be in the correct position as we can see it's not in here because that line that your little thumb and forefinger make there, they're going up towards your, your lead shoulder, and not towards your back shoulder, okay? So what we're going to try and do now, if I zoom in on here, okay, this is the process you're going to go through, okay, when you sort of use that, that practice club. We're going to put the left hand on first by yourself without that finger. You can see that finger wanting to sort of go yeah. down there. It's almost like a, I turn the hand over and that finger sort of points down the grip, okay? Ideally, you want that finger to sit under. So your left hand grip now, you can see there, if I draw that line there, go up towards your right shoulder, your trail shoulder. Yeah. So a much better position. That will allow your hinge to happen, okay? Because you can't hinge the wrist, the el elbows and arms start lifting and bending, okay? So we're going to put the left hand grip in the correct spot, and then from there, once your left hand is correct, happy with that, your right hand now can sit on top there pretty much as it wants to sit there. If you look at those two hand positions there to there, just look how much more of your left hand we can kind of see because yeah. your left hand is further over. We see more of this part of your hand, i.e. the two knuckles here of your of your left hand. Of your left hand in there, mm -hmm. you can see them and that's going to give you the correct position now for your arms to go back. So previously your club only went back your club only went back to about hip height. And that was your power created there. So your left wrist yeah. going down, you couldn't interest in there at all. With this better grip now, as the club goes back, we can now start to get a bit more speed and power by the club going back a bit further. So we're creating what we call the L swing or mm -hmm. closer to the L swing, okay? In time, that'll go a little bit further, okay? But with a bit of practice, that'll come, okay? Mm -hmm. To start with, now, that's, that's more than enough, okay? And you can see the ball going now 50, 60 yards. Yeah. We're getting more distance, okay? As you then come back to the golf ball, lovely strikes. We can see it. your arms come back to a relaxed position. They're not locking them out straight, mm -hmm. okay? Nice and relaxed. And then we can just twist through, maintaining the width, there, as you can see, in your arms. You're not pulling your arms in or bending your elbow to try and lift the ball up. We're just swinging the club back. Ideally, L on the way back, L on the way through. You're kind of getting towards it, okay? There could be sort of a bit of a, a hinge up here, but for the most part, I'd rather your back swing be your main source of focus mm -hmm. and get that right, okay? Get your grip correct, left hand, and don't be afraid. Like I say, to go through that process, almost very deliberate, okay? Just put mm -hmm. that club on, almost say, okay, can I see two knuckles? Have they going in the finger down the correct spot? If I have, I can then hinge. Mm -hmm. If you have that, you can then create the motion you're trying to make here on the way back, which is that. If you've got that grip on the left hand side here, now if you were sort of gripping the club like that, you couldn't get your left arm to go up in that position. The yeah. club just couldn't go back any further. So what would happen now, because the movement can't come from the wrist, it would just come from the elbow and this one sort of just pulls up to try and mm. lift the club up. It looks awkward. It would, exactly, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, for these small shots, it kind of works, you hit the ball okay, but it's very limited to how far the golf will go, which is yeah. why when people first start, they just grab the club as most of across the palm there, mm -hmm. make their first few swings, they get a little bit of contact, get 30, 40 yards, then they start trying to put the fuller swing on because they can't bend in that way because of the grip, mm -hmm. they mess it all up and then go back to sort of just chipping the ball down 20, 30 yards, which, okay, but you're very limited to how far the ball's going to go. Yeah. And if the hole's 200 yards and you're hitting the ball 20, 30 yards, it's like, <laughs> take a lot of 20, 30, 20, 30 yard shots to get yourself to the green, okay? So, quick summary, say so the image you want to look at now for your grip, so when you're holding that club, that kind of needs to be what your left hand looks like. Mm -hmm. We can complete the grip now with both hands, okay? So when you get home in a sort of video there, that kind of is the image you're looking, you can screen grab that, so when you look in the mirror there, so you can compare how that looks. Left hand there is going to create sort of that little V that we said that points up towards your back shoulder and your right one there sort of more towards your chest and your, your chin there, so mm -hmm. your shoulder and your chin, okay? But that's actually fine, whereas before you can see where your left hand was going, it was way too far round yeah. that left hand side, which caused the issue to say with the hinge. Make sense? Yep. Happy with that then? Okay, cool. Any questions yeah. at all on that stuff you've been through? Or that 
No, I think that's yeah. fine. I think it's something to go away with and practice yeah, now. Yeah, and it's remembering the, the knuckles. Yeah, exactly. Get that two knuckles yeah, to the left hand. Knuckles, yeah. And again, just watch that little index thing. It doesn't want to point know, down the grip. I've had two knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's almost like sort of a, yeah, just a natural reaction to sort of point down there. Okay, yeah, yeah. here's the club yeah, down there. But get that club in the correct position. And again, use that club that I've given you, like, what's left of that club. A grip, I suppose. Just get used to that. Just hold it in the air. Just wave it in midair and you yeah. can get used to it. Okay? Good stuff. Okie dokie.